Sedna, the most distant dwarf planet, an object, besides comets, found in the solar system. Now, the most distant dwarf planet won't give quite a perspective on how distant it actually is. Sedna is found as late as of 2003. We don't know how it actually looks like. We barely know its diameter. It is estimated that it is from 1000 kilometers to 1800 kilometers in diameter. That's not precise at all. And the estimating mass of Sedna is as well not possible at all as of right now. We can't see much through this white dot. So, one year of Sedna, one rotation around the sun, takes 11,406 years. It is insane how distant can it get from the sun. This is the perspective. So, this is the orbit from Earth to sun. It is 150 million kilometers. That is counted as one astronomical unit. One AU. It is used quite frequently to explain distance. Well, this is the orbit for Sedna. From here, Earth's orbit is invisible. Well, currently, Sedna is about 80 astronomical units away. That's about here. In other words, 12 billion kilometers away. More distant than any planet. But that's at its almost shortest distance to the Sun. And at its longest distance, here, it can achieve 937 astronomical units. In other words, 937 times more distant from the Sun than Earth is from the Sun. 140, 550 billion kilometers. That is an unthinkable distance. It is really hard to comprehend. It takes even light, the fastest achievable speed in the universe, to get from Sun to Sedna 130 hours or five and a half days to reach Sedna at this distance. So at this distance from the surface of Sedna, Sun would appear extremely dim and it would be very dark on the surface when it's day. Not a lot of photons could reach the surface and temperatures would be minus 250 Celsius. Almost any element could freeze there. It's one of the coldest places in the solar system. Now, we have no idea on what Sedna would actually look like. It is possible that it has a similar composition to Pluto and maybe a similar appearance. But it is as well possible that the planet did not originate from solar system, but rather that the sun stole the planet from a passing by planetary system. If that is true, who knows what we are to expect from this dwarf planet. Maybe a completely different type of planet would appear, unknown. Although unlikely, let's leave it as a possibility. Another interesting thing is the shape of its orbit. It is very stretched. Well, it is proposed that some planet has been messing with its orbit, and that planet might be the actual ninth planet of the solar system probably a gas giant size of a Neptune that has been messing with its orbit and many others orbit of distant objects. That is the only explanation, although we haven't observed the ninth planet yet. So yeah, we have a lot of mysteries and interesting events tied to this distant world and we better hurry, Sedna is taking its closest approach to the sun in 2075 or 2076 and it will be 76 astronomical units away from the sun, around 11,400 billion kilometers. And it won't be that close for next 11,406 years, because it needs to do the whole rotation again. So it was calculated that a mission to Sedna with a satellite at its closest approach would take 24 years. Although sadly there are no plans to go to Sedna, so let's not miss this opportunity to learn about the universe.